I'll make this completely public. So if anyone wants to like save this or add on to it or clone it or just follow along, um, people are welcome to. We're gonna call this crushing the Danish gambit. And we'll just make it completely public, I guess. So everyone has full access how to play for black. Oh, thanks for the cheer. Donks for me. 100 bits. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to end. I'm actually going to end this soon, but I do want to uh, just go over this thing. So we'll look from Black's perspective. I'll share the link in the Twitch chat if people want to follow along. Um, but let's go forward. And thank you, Nickup, for five cheers for one bit each um i'm i'm very appreciative for uh for all of the the bits people are throwing at me anyway uh danish gambit for black i don't recommend accepting the gambit this is very playable but if you're getting in this position bishop c4 take take it is dangerous um so in this position, I recommend very, uh, I consider it like probably the strongest move. And it's very thematic move for these sort of positions is to play d5, where we just challenge the center. Uh, white will take, take, take. And now I will say that white is usually happy going into this line because there's a pretty well-known trap where um, I'll just show is after knight c6, knight f3, bishop g4, bishop e2. Um, it looks like black can win a pawn by just taking on f3 and taking on d4. The problem with that is white wins the queen after bishop takes e6 check and this queen is left undefended. Um, so this would be very tragic for black. And just for fun, let's see how many people have fallen into this on me chess. Over 50 people over 60 people, if I can do math, um, or 60 people exactly. I can't do math. 62 people have fallen into this position as black, uh, which is pretty tragic. Um, so if you're black, I recommend getting to this position because most of the time white will be excited that you might fall into the trap, but you don't take on f3 here. You play bishop b4 check, knight c3, and then, um, and then you play a move which looks bad based on what we just saw. You play bishop take f3, bishop take f3. Um, and white will get really excited that you're, it looks like you're about to take on d4 and fall into the same trap. Let's see how many people fall, fall into this. Another 41 people. So over 100 people fell into this stupid bishop takes e6 uh, like opening trick. Um, so what I recommend is, yeah, take on f3, take on f3, and then very, very strong move for black. And we can see this is pretty high scoring too, is to play queen c4. Um, and if you remember how to get to this position, it's very pleasant to play. Black is preventing white from castling. Uh, black's also threatening bishop takes c3. So the line continues from here. Um, a lot of the time white will take on c6. Black can take back. Very important to take with pawn. If you take with queen, you allow white to castle. And we don't want that. So you take with pawn. Black's still applying a lot of pressure, threatening bishop takes c3. Um, and now I think the most common move for white is queen e2 check. Yeah. Queen e2 check. Take, take. And... If you take your openings seriously, I recommend just memorizing this line. Like, remember how to get to this position. We'll make this the main line. Um, and this position is pretty common. Uh, like, close to a thousand games. Maybe just under a thousand games. Um, I apologize for my dog barking. But, uh, but from this position, I recommend knowing a little bit further. Uh, essentially, what black should do is target the, the d-pawn. And it's somewhat imbalanced because the d-pawn's weak. 
but these pawns look weak too. So I recommend that black should castle queenside, bring the rook to d8. You should bring the knight, very important to bring the knight to e7, and then f5. A lot of times you can double up, like bring the rook to d6 and the other rook to d8. And then, then the bishop from b4 usually maneuvers to b6. And it's very pleasant. Like if we see this play out, say castle, just go through the most common moves. Knight e7. I showed this to a student. My student actually had this position in a tournament recently and uh, played knight f6, which was unfortunately not the right move. But knight e7, much better. Rook hd1. And yeah, the the h rook can also go to e8, which is looking very pleasant. Um, I might choose knight, e knight to f5 here. Looks a bit more flexible. And then decide whether to play, uh, like play to double up on the d file or to play rook e8. And like all of black's pieces have have potential to defend, or to attack the uh, the d4 pawn. And meanwhile, c6 is going to be well defended. Like, if necessary, black can play king b7. So that's uh, um, the recommendation for black against the Danish, in a nutshell. That's quick, but if you know this line, first remember queen c4. Secondly, just remember where your pieces should go in this position. Um, one more thing I'll say is that the whole line that we just saw it works against a Danish. It also works against the Scotch Gambit, which is after knight f3, knight c6, d4, take and then c3. It's just going to be a transposition where if black plays d5 here, we can um, we can just go into the same line. White will take, take, take. Bishop g4, same position. Just make a comment here. Uh, transposes to main line. Um, it might be good to annotate this a little bit. Uh, let me just give queen c4 exclam. And I'll leave it at that. So feel free, whoever might find this useful, you can take this from Lee Chess. Um, you should be able to clone it. Like if you wanted to clone it, just click the share and export and then clone and then um, clone the study and you can add on to it. So anyway, I really haven't been reading the chat, but hopefully people enjoyed that, whoever plays e5 out there. Um, I know people want other stuff, but I'm hungry and I'm, uh, I also have like other work to do. Um, so probably what, what I'll do, I'll either be back later tonight, um, I'll definitely be back tomorrow tomorrow's a pro chess league uh in which i'm not playing but i'm a manager for one of the teams so i'll probably be doing commentary but but yeah thanks guys for watching and i'll be back in the future bye